Goosebumps is rated GB7 because it may be too spooky for Goosebumps fans under 7. Hello, we're just doing the coverage of Chicken Chicken thanks to Paparina, Paparina's point of view. So anyways, let's just go through it and I'll talk about it a bit and we'll just see how exactly it's like interesting or interessante it really is. So anyways, we have Crystal and Cole. They used to be big city kids somewhere in Ohio, which does that mean Cincinnati? I actually asked my mom. She actually was raised in Ohio. Yeah, it was in that range of pick and pay. I think that's what it's called. And she has no recollection of it even existing. So it has to be some other big city. But apparently I would have to believe that when it comes to big cities, they weren't a part of the big city business. They were most likely in a decent populated area because Cincinnati did not have them. They had Kroger's, they had the IGA. That's all she said. No pick and pay. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. So, anyways, the parents are chicken farmers now. They are in Goshen Falls. And Crystal actually hates it here. And apparently, this is where Paparita actually can relate. Me, I'm like, I can't really relate to it at all. <laughs> of course. None of us really can, but it's cool that he can, which is awesome. It's like, if you can't actually relate to a character, you did good. So, it looks like Apparently, this is a good one for the farmers. Dum ba dum bum 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 bum. <laughs> Anyways, we have Vanessa who is in all black. She even has a black cat, and of course, she's allegedly a spellcaster. So, anyways, Crystal actually stumbled upon Cole and his friends. They're gonna prank by putting water in her mailbox. That I can relate for. That one I can relate. I don't have that mailbox that usually you go and then you're just, you know, the usual typical mailbox box. No, I have one that is like the Valentine's Day mailboxes where you open it, open the lid, put the mail in, lid slams by itself. So basically, yes, someone can actually put water in my freaking mailbox. And of course, if they do, I will see them. I'll say, what the fuck? And I'm almost like, I'll say, I'll whoop your ass, kid. <laughs> you think the freaking Texans were messed up? Or do I come out with a freaking belt as if I'm freaking the granddad from Boondocks? <laughs> come and get your Tootsie Roll, damn it. <laughs> It's like, yeah, so I could actually get victimized by that, but thank goodness no one does. And I think it's a it's a federal crime if you actually do that crap. I think it might be. So, yeah, that might be one issue about the episode if you actually do something with the freaking mailboxes. Even though considering someone did a lot worse from batters up and golfing up freaking mailboxes and destroying them. So I think it's not that horribly bad. Anyways, well, when it comes to the law. I'm pretty sure when it comes to law and regulations, it's messed up. It's unfortunate, but as long as you don't touch the mail or open the mail, you're fine. But if you destroy the mail by water, you're cool. You're able to get away with it. Well, anyways, Vanessa comes out, yells at the kids, and they run. And then we have Vanessa, Cole, and Anthony. Anthony is going to be an interesting case that makes us do a spinoff video. He has to have a spinoff video. Anyways... Well, actually, I don't think he really needs a spinoff video, but maybe we'll just wait for Squid Jib and maybe I'll do a spinoff video then. Anyways, a fight broke out between the, th the three after they were playing hot potato with a freaking egg, which I'm like, what are you, Bobby Hill when it was tornado season? Why the hell do you have an egg in your damn hands? What the freak? It's like, what? It better be boiled. It's like, no, it's not a boiled egg. It's an actual real live egg. Who does that? <laughs> it's like, who does that? Anyways, uh, Vanessa is in the wrong place at the wrong time. And she has some issues where her groceries just got knocked out of her hands. And now they're all over the floor. You would figure at this point, she understands that um, the kids, which I think it was, I forgot who said it. But someone told me it's like, or someone actually described the fact of 
the kids know you are kind of a witch. The kids are a little bit scared of your ass. Then why in the world would you think that kids will say something to you or you expect any kid to say anything? You know what you're going to get and I wish I could do it, but guess what? Copyright infringement. Copywriting. Is that, you know what you're going to get? Insert freaking Home Alone 1 where the kid actually talks to the freaking snow shoveler for the first time. Or heck, the second time. The first time was do 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 ah, 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 and he ran into the house second time he got so terrified that he was walking out the freaking door and kind of committed shoplifting that is what you have lady so that means why would you expect any freaking kid talk to your ass if you have that type of intimidation frick <laughs> Not to mention, you do the same thing as the freaking guy. The freaking shoveler never actually talked to the kid. Not at all. He only talked to him when he was in church. The final act. That's the only time ever he talked to him. But before then, it was nothing at all. Frick. At least he knows that there's rumors going around what he did. At least he knows the rumors. For apparently for you, you don't give a darn. And it's like, yeah, um, and you expect the kids to say, oops, sorry, oop, I apologize if you're intimidating looking. Freaking damn it. <laughs> Anyways, Anthony actually said sorry and runs. This is where later on I'm gonna insert exactly what happened with him because apparently good deeds does get rewarded. Yeah, and Paparina didn't understand that. And I'm like, well, I can I can actually explain what happened here. It's simple. But anyways, Crystal and Cole actually are in shock. Vanessa glares at them. She points at Cole, then points at Claire points at Crystal and says, Chicken, chicken. So they both run home and the day passed. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that the three were actually out and about in stores looking for a present for Crystal's friend. Lily Ann, I mean Liz Ann, right? Yeah, Liz, Lucy Ann, sorry. And so at school, Cole is at choir practice. They both were, and he started clucking when he did this, was trying to sing his solo. Then at a birthday party, Crystal's lips actually began to be dry and chapped, and then a beak forms. Oh, what the frick! So she runs home and. Cole already made it there and Cole has feathers and it's like yeah insert the witches the fact of where the girl turned into a a chicken or a goose and they're like where's our daughter where's our daughter at and they don't even believe her friend what happened to her it's like yeah some bullshit but anyways <laughs> it's like anyways uh so Crystal actually tries to defeather but it hurts him and it leaves holes messed up holes and it's like ugh and it's like and crystal can't speak well because while well, she was doing clicking at the birthday party and now she's doing clicking here crystal and cole actually hides their condition from their mom at least the freaking feathers why and well there's many other issues but first things first is that they went to her mom to explain things apparently they're shrinking in size there's hole in their skin and crystal has a beak there is no freaking way possible you can ignore what they're saying there's no freaking way possible but guess what the mom's a freaking idiot and like i said previously to help this in the episode just make her freaking high as a kite <laughs> <laughs> I know that's messed up and that's not friendly G rating, but if you make her high as a kite, then at least she has a reason for being a dumbass idiot. <laughs> so anyways, they have to take things in their own hands. They go to Vanessa's house after checking on Anthony, which we get into this part of where Anthony all of a sudden is good at golf. He has golf skills. So unlike what happened to Clarissa, who was like, what do you want, dear child? What do you want, Samantha? I want to be good at basketball. I make everyone horrible. And now you're better than everyone else because I made everyone else horrible. Apparently, Vanessa has her shit together and actually gave Anthony the power to play golf. Now, he's a good golf player because he did say sorry after, before he ran. So it's like she gave him graces and that's why she wasn't at her house because she actually blessed freaking Anthony. 
who knows when she actually did it, but maybe she did it while she was walking home this day or maybe she did it the day before after she cursed them and like later is like i'm pretty sure it would take a day to find out where the hell he lives so let's just say that maybe just maybe she actually when she was missing from her house that's where she was she actually did it to anthony and said there you go and then she went off somewhere else and then she comes back home all right there you go it's like yeah there's a big explanation there of what happened to anthony that's why he's good at golf so anyways, they go into the house. She They stole the book. It's a cookbook. Damn it. So she had to go back again, take the spell book, and the spell book made them bigger chickens. Too bad they can link this to Goosebumps um, for Monster Blood 3, but considering, you know, Arl Stein sucks at connecting and building the world, but it would have been good because then it's like, okay, that explains why Monster Blood actually made him grow. And it grow a decent size. It's like, yeah, they weren't growing, growing, growing. Yeah, just like um, Evan, he grew to a decent amount size and then stop. And it's like, if they actually had in that freaking spell book something they had to create, and it's like, there you go, and they ate it. So it's like, oh, so there you go. And that's what happened. And they kind of made their own monster blood like substance to actually make them grow, but a little bit of a size. Whatever. Anyways, Vanessa shows up and laughs, and she says that losing her groceries was okay to her, but they didn't say sorry. So since she didn't say sorry, that's why she cursed them. And she's all about the damn manners. And Crystal actually tries to say sorry, but she couldn't say anything, so she typed it, which is like, I'm pretty sure this was when I actually watched um, Cell Block Psycho. Because he, I think he said both of them did it, but apparently only just Crystal said, typed, I'm sorry. And it turns out it's not only a sorry, it was a thank you note. A thank you for teaching us a lesson. But you're scary to people, though. Why do you think they would actually say sorry to you if they're scared of your ass? Come the frick on. You dumbass anyways vanessa actually changed them back but then cole burps and he's a pig they both didn't turn into pigs which i thought that's what happened they both turned into pigs but no he only turned into a pig so here we go again and it's like oh great so now he has to go on the typewriter and type <laughs> i would have preferred it's like pig pig and he goes oink so it's like allegedly he turned into a pig but i'm pretty sure what occurred most likely is the fact of she might have took the curse back considering she said pig pig it lasts it turns him into a pig in a day unless if she magically just turns him into a freaking pig automatically and it's like then why didn't you turn him into chickens automatically you jerk but it's like now you're able to turn him automatically that doesn't make sense you jerk what the heck so yeah that's just a messed up part where it's like i'm pretty sure he might have a way to just say oop excuse me it's like yeah pig pig it's like oop excuse me and he's like oh f i'm sorry reverse it it's like yeah it's like the things that happen later on in the book that we don't get to see because we cut it short because you have to have a twist and not actually what they do next well anyways yeah that's what happened that is the paparina coverage as for the squid jib coverage i'm pretty sure we're gonna take a long time to do it a long time Anyways, have a scary day, a scary night.